What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Wicked Toast, here, and today, we welcome back to some more Call of Duty VR Zombies here on the channel. And dude, I am so excited to cover this for a video because if you guys have already seen some of my other Call of Duty VR Zombies videos, I've already really enjoyed playing on Nocturne Toten. I went and played some Dereze, and now today we decided to stop by and play some Shinonuma here on the channel. And if you guys do want to go and try this mod out for yourselves, I definitely do recommend going and playing it over on Steam, which is actually available over on Pavlov VR. And I have been having an absolute blast with this man. Like, it seriously feels like a Call of Duty Zombies experience in the headset. Like, this is something you definitely should not be skipping out on, especially if you are a huge Zombies fan. Because I'm telling you, when this feels like Call of Duty Zombies, it feels... Like Call of Duty Zombies, just the rebuilding barriers, even just the animations of the zombies themselves, man. It is seriously a treat to be able to see this in a virtual reality setting. I gotta make sure he doesn't try to reach me here. Wait for him to go and grab the barrier. Come on, come over here. I'm trying to get one more slash. I just want to get a, another point here. Thank you. It is so hard to knife zombies and barriers, man. It's just as hard in the VR headset as it was initially on the flat screen, man. But honestly, I don't trade it for the world because this... This is what really makes zombies zombies, and I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you are, you know, if, if you've been around since like the World at War days, and even just like playing through Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and BO3, I feel like the OG zombies experience kind of went out the window at Black Ops 4. Disagree with me if you feel like differently about that, but for me it just felt like they really took away the zombies formula of what made zombies zombies. In like Black Ops 4 and like Cold War and then obviously bringing it to like Vanguard and other games like that. But I really felt like, you know, all of the games, World at War through BO3, I thoroughly enjoyed for the most part. Like it was just, it was so entertaining and like I sunk so many hours, like thousands upon thousands of hours into those games. And actually, let's go and try to get some more points off of this little quick revive here just so we can... uh <laughs> Just so we can get a few extra points added, and plus, I just like the idea of being able to uh, actually get the points from the perk machine that way, because I feel like a lot of the other VR Zombies mods didn't incorporate that, which took a little bit of getting used to, just because, like, you know, my, my zombie's brain always trained me to go and, like, run straight to the perk machine to be the hoarder that steals all of the coins from under the machines, but it's so cool that it's actually even here in the, uh... In this VR Shinonuma experience, man. Like, it's it's so freaking fun. And, like, the fact that they even got, like, the guitar walking zombies. Like, I love this, man. But, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna take me a lot of getting used to of using these other weapons. Because I've been getting so used to, like, other VR shooters. And then, like, coming back to Pavlov. It just takes some time to really adjust to all the uh, reloading types that they actually have. I mean, I've probably talked about this in, like, previous, like, VR videos. Like, it's just, it's so difficult when you're hopping between VR and, like, other VR games. And Sorry, it's okay, I was talking. For it. It's just so hard to, like, adjust to the new reloading mechanics because so many games have their own ways of uh, incorporating it in their own titles. So, just bear with me. If you see me, like, struggling with some reloads here and there, you know why. You know what's happening. But, for the most part, I do want to try... Oh! Okay, you need to not smack me like that, dude. All right, let's go and get another smacky poo on you. Perfect. And there we go. Round three, baby. And we already got 2,200 points. I think I'm just going to probably... Ooh. I was going to say I kind of want to chill in here, but... You know what? If I actually get the Gavar, I think we'll be all right. Yeah, let's go and grab the Gavar, and I think... I think this should do for this. Through the nose and out through the barrel. <laughs> Breathe out through the nose and out through the barrel. My man Takeo. I mean, I really wish we could have got another Rigtop and run. I've been getting pretty lucky, like, each time that I hop into one of these zombies maps. Like, I've either been getting Rigtop in or, like, Dempsey. And, like, it has been perfect. Like, I don't know why, but I feel like those two are, like, the most iconic in my eyes. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I love all four of the characters. Like... It, it just kind of depends. Like, I feel like Takeo got better, like, in Black Ops 3. But, like, Takeo's initial, uh, initial quotes about the Emperor and all that stuff, like, it was just like, Man! We don't care about the Emperor! <laughs> like, stop Takeo! But also, I feel like that's, like, what made Takeo Takeo. So, like, in the same way, I can't really complain. It's what makes zombies zombies. You know what I mean? And, like, after they threw out, like, a lot of the original voice actors, like, out the window, it just felt like... A different experience, you know what I mean? Like, 
There was just something about, uh, ooh, one second. Gotta make sure we don't get overrun here. But, uh, there was just something about it where it feels like the voice lines, even if you didn't, like, totally listen to, like, the story that was behind it, just even hearing them in the game is what made, like, Call of Duty Zombies really enjoyable. Like, whether it be, you know, the perk machine jingles, whether it be the voice lines that come from the characters, even just, like, you know, the power-up drops, and just the sound design in general, like, it truly made Call of Duty Zombies so much more entertaining and so much more enjoyable, and just gave it so much more personality compared to a lot of other, like, games that were competing with it. You know, like, because there's... Oh, whoops. I just dropped the gun right off my freaking, uh... Right off my holster there. I forget that Pavlov is over the shoulder. I've been so used to Ghost of Tabor. I've been playing so much of it. I'm sure you guys have probably seen a lot of my videos uh, recently on the channel covering that game. But I'm so used to putting it, like, over my uh, over my chest or my hip. And then having my other holsters and ammo clip or ammo magazines on my chest. Like, it's just, it's so different to get accustomed to other VR games here. But uh, to get back to what I was talking to you about the Call of Duty Zombies and relating it to, to other games... One of the things I feel like that really made Call of Duty Zombies, like, superior above a lot of the other, like, Zombies titles was the fact that it had so much character and so much, so much color in a dark world. Like, you look at Shinonuma, and at first glance, it's very gloomy, it's very dark, and, you know, it's, there's not, like, a crazy amount of stuff that's, like, really bright to you, you know? And actually, one second, let's go and open this door so we don't get overrun, because these zombies are, uh, they're getting a little bit, getting a little bit fancy with it. All right, we don't want to get swarmed in the spawn room. That would not be good. So let's just try to play this a little bit more safe so we don't end up getting completely overrun on an early round, what, round four? Yeah, that'd be very embarrassing if we actually ended up going down this early. Not going to let it happen. Okay. And actually, while we're at it, I am going to go and run down back to this other area because I know these zombies are going to probably start trying to overwhelm me while I'm up on the top there. I just like to try to stay up there as long as possible because for the most part, um, if you can try to maintain spawns there, you'll be able to get through these rounds a lot quicker compared to, uh, compared to, you know, obviously having all this open area and waiting for all the zombies to pour in. It just sounds like the rape beside me. They're like literally right above me, man. That is terrifying. It literally sounds like they're right next to me, man. Holy crap. That's the only thing about, like, playing with headphones is, like, the surround sound in this is crazy. Like, I, strangely enough, with a lot of VR games, I usually play without headphones just because I like to be able to hear my voice when I'm, like, recording and, like, you know, keep track of what I'm saying and just, it usually helps with a lot of recording. But in the same way, if I really want, like, the true VR experience, having surround headphones over seriously is a world of a difference. Like, it puts you into... The world that you're playing in man and like every single time that i play call of duty zombies there's no other way to play it now but the only like the only trouble with that is especially when you have it just like that surround sound it's so hard to hear yourself and hear what you're trying to say and even like hear yourself like trying to think you know so if you ever hear me like stutter every now and then or like mess up some of my words or kind of have like word gloop and that, that's the way i like to like to call it is word gloop basically where like i mean to say something but it kind of like comes out as something completely different oh my gosh whoo you were running like crazy oh my god i was not expecting him to uh chase me that fast but uh let's just make sure if this thing's actually loaded okay we should be good on our stg baby but uh i do want to wait to hit the box a lot here because I'm pretty sure from what the um, the main dev that's behind, you know, remastering these maps in VR, he was letting me know that by round 9 is where you can actually start getting your wonder weapons. So I think for the most part, I'm going to try my best just to like kind of point rack, use weapons that are kind of like nearby, and just really, really treat this uh, as a point racking opportunity until I'm ready to, um, ready to move on and try to get some of those wonder weapons. But, god man, these zombies are just, they're crazy, bro. Like... I'm telling you, like, if you do have Pavlov and you have it on Steam, definitely give this Call of Duty Zombies experience a shot. I'll be leaving a link down in the description below if you guys want to go and check out uh, the Steam Workshop page to go and download this. But seriously, it's uh, it's a treat, man. If you're a Zombies fan and you're looking for more experiences, this is, this is exactly what any Zombies fan should be looking forward to, man. Like, I'm surprised. A lot more, like zombies youtubers haven't like really came to the vr scene to check this out because it is solid like i <laughs> i catch myself coming back to this like weekly like no matter what 
it's just it's one of those things that's in my rotation where I just go and visit it. Even if I don't record, I I just love coming and visiting Call of Duty VR Zombies, man. It's just it's good every single time. God, this STG sounds like a freaking monster. Honestly, I wish I could actually have this in uh I wish I could have this in Ghost of Tabor, which I guess I haven't really checked to see if the uh, STG is even available in there. But if it is, I need to get that weapon, man. There's just something about uh. Something about the Pavlov weapons that feels so solid. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just because I've played a lot of Pavlov, but I feel like just like the pitch of like where your gun's actually aiming, it just feels so much more accurate than a lot of my other VR games that I play. And I don't know if that's just like, you know, maybe some aim assist or whatever else, but uh, I just feel like my aim is so much better in Pavlov compared to a lot of other VR games. Okay, let's go and grab this. And actually, We'll try to get as many slashes as possible. Come on. Oh my gosh. I'm playing a little bit risky here. <laughs> I'm getting very, very risky with it. Oh my gosh. There's just so many zombies. There we go. God, it feels so awesome just to like mow through all these freaking, all the waves of zombies here. And we got a max ammo. Dude, I literally just threw away my, uh, my Gavar. Oh, I almost just put that back in my, my main holster there. But we're now up to 6,800 points, bro. I'm kind of tempted to go and open some of the doors and see if we could potentially get Jug. Because once dogs spawn in, that can get a little bit nasty. So, I might go and, like, open up each of these doors just so I can get, like, the perk machine spawned in. And then possibly find Juggernog. I think that's a good idea. So, I think what I'm going to do, actually... Hmm. Okay, maybe I should wait. Maybe I should wait until the end of the round. It's probably a better idea, to be honest. I, I probably shouldn't be going in the middle of the round while I actually have, like, a pretty good point to hold down here. So, we'll just wait it out until the end of this round, and then we'll go and try to buy some of the doors and make our way through that. God, the zombies are so loud. <laughs> it's like, it's so terrifying. Even though I've played so much, like, I've played so much Call of Duty Zombies in my past, there's just something about being in it that makes it so much more eerie and, like, it, it just, I don't know how to explain the feeling, man. I, I don't know how to explain it. But it's, it's a really good thing. Like, even if it is, like, a little bit... A little bit scary for like new oh gosh even if it is a little bit scarier for like you know newer players especially like if you haven't played a lot of vr you know it, it sends you on a trip man it's it's freaking awesome like there's nothing else like it in vr man like you know ghost of the Boar, it's one of those great titles when it comes down to an extraction shooter and then pavlov is like really good when it comes out of the modding scene and i feel like contractors is one of those games that just like it really feels like the arcade Call of Duty that you're looking for for a VR uh, for a VR game, but all of them have like their own appeal to it. You know what I mean? Like each title brings something new to the table and something really really enjoyable and entertaining. But uh, let's go and throw this over the shoulder, grab that max ammo, and make sure that we don't end this round because we got almost 10,000 points already, which is really really good. So let's go and try to make a crawler here. We'll go and chuck our nade. Please give me a crawler. Thank you. Dude, I blew his arm off. Oh my gosh. That man was a goner. Goner, goner, goner. All right. Well, I guess we got the one crawler over here. I don't know how many more zombies are actually left. So let's just be aware that if there is any more, we just got to keep an eye on them. But let's go and buy this door quick over to the Flaga room. And I do want to go and see if we can potentially get Juggernog on our first drop. If not, like, double tap or even, like, I mean, double tap or stamina up. I think would probably be two of the other ones that I'd be, like, kind of okay with. And also, bro, they went as far as adding the three zombie spawns when you open the door. Wow, man. Talk about attention to detail. Like, a lot of games would probably miss that. And even just, like, mods that usually bring, like, Call of Duty zombies to the game. Like, they usually skip over and gloss over, like, little, little factors like that. But that's... That's just something that adds so much more to this experience. And I just want to make a huge shout out to, uh, I can't remember his name. Oh my gosh, I talked to him on Discord. But you know who you are. The main dev behind all of this. Thank you so much for making this, man. It's been, it's been so fun to have the opportunity to play this in my VR headset. Like, this is a dream come true. Like, no joke. Like, when I, I don't even know how to, how to put words to it. Like... I, I've always dreamed about being in Call of Duty Zombies. I remember even like when I was younger, like in my in my really younger years. I remember watching like YouTube videos of people doing like real life Call of Duty Zombies content, and like I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. And now to have this where it's like it's kind of like real life Call of Duty Zombies, except 
you know, it's in a VR headset. It's just, I don't know. It's freaking awesome, man. And, like, I can't imagine, like, seeing this map, the Chinonuma already kind of gets on my, like, the creepy side. Like, ooh, ooh like, the ambiance kind of kind of hits you. Like, it's crazy how much this, this map feels this way. And I can't imagine how another map like Shangri-La would feel in VR, man. Like, I look at this and I think of Shang. I'm like, if we could get Shangri-La on the headset, bro, that would be so wild. And I, I suck on Shang, bro. So, like, I wouldn't even say, like, I'm the biggest fan of Shangri-La, like, playing that for a high round map. But it is a really, really cool one, and it's really, really difficult. So, like, I would love to go and check that out, especially in a VR setting. But let's hope to God that we can potentially get Juggernaut. Please, please, please. Oh, let's go, Juggernaut. Beautiful. God, the fact you can even smash the bottles. Oh, it's so cool, man. That is so darn cool. Can I type on the typewriter? Nope. But you know what I do know is I'm pretty sure the Easter egg song does work on this map if we go and answer the call. So we are going to wait on that until like a higher round just because obviously it's a lot more fun to like shoot down zombies at a later round when you got the music going and just you're vibing it. You know what I mean? Like that's that's the fun of that. But if you do it at an early round, it's like, man, you just wasted the secret song and now I don't get to hear it for the entire rest of the uh, entire rest of the map. But while we're at it, it is round six. So let's just go and stab this crawler. Oh my gosh, you take a lot of hits. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully Carpenter's actually fixed too, because I remember the last time that we played, it never gave me the 200 points. So we're about to see if it did fix. Okay, I do not think Carpenter's were fixed yet, unfortunately. Um, they do work as for, like, rebuilding the barriers. It just doesn't give you the points, apparently. But, uh, yeah. So currently we are on round seven, and... I kind of just want to, like, hang out over here for a bit until I can eventually get my, uh, get my points up. I, I need to get it all the way up to at least, like, 6k. If I get, like, 6,000 points, we can spam that box, potentially get a Wunderwaffel, or possibly even a ray gun, which would be amazing. I would die to have another, uh, another ray gun, man. Like, holy, that gun, it feels so good on, like, this mod. Like, I don't know how he did, like, the reload mechanisms and stuff, but it's just... It's unbelievable. You literally, like, you can flick the front of the ray gun down, pop the tube out, throw your other capsule in, and flick it back up. Just like the actual game. So if you did not play Call of Duty Zombies, you're probably going to struggle, like, actually figuring out how to reload some of those other wonder weapons. But still, either way, it's like... The fact that it stayed so true to the original and it doesn't hold your hand is what makes it so entertaining, man. I want more games to do that, you know? Like, I feel like... A lot of games just play it safe, especially in the VR field, you know, where it, where it be like motion sickness inducing or just other mechanics that try to tend towards people who do get motion sick and just other things like that. Something that I really enjoy are games that really push the uh, push the ticket, you know, like don't hold your hand the entire way and want to be for the VR veterans. And I feel like, especially with the, the modern community, I feel like that's something that they kind of take upon themselves to be like, you know what? I want to make this, I want to have this experience in the headset. And they just go balls to the wall with it, man. Like, it is just so cool. Okay, let's go and go knife heavy here. Oh my gosh. Bring it on, zombies! Holy! Gosh, there's no better feeling than running on insta-kill with a knife. Like, it is just so freaking satisfying. Alright, bring it on! Insta-kill, insta-kill, insta-kill. Any more zombres? Zombros? Hello, shalom? I want to see if any of them, uh... Oh, they're actually coming back up the stairs. There we go. Oh, you are... Uh, you literally just ran out of insta-kill in the worst time possible. So what I'm going to do is, uh... I'm just going to go crazy with the pistol. Try to get a bunch of points on them. Nice. God, he takes hits, though. I mean, it is round, like, seven, so... It's understandable. Oh, my gosh. So many hits. There we go brother and you're gonna give me a double points off the freaking start of this and it's a tall ground that's actually a really good thing because if we use this double points get a few more points here and then we skip to round nine we'll be able to spam that box which is gonna be great oh no, sorry i have only one soul and i'm using it right now <laughs> <laughs> sorry this soul is occupied oh man i freaking love takeo man oh gosh this is what just I don't know. It brings me back to my childhood. Being able to hear these quotes and play this is just... 
This is a dream come true, man. This is so cool. And, like, sorry if the commentary is a little bit lackluster. Like I said, it's really hard to, like, hear myself with these headphones on. So, like, I don't know if I'm going to be too loud or not. Or, like, even what I'm saying sometimes. It's like, man, it's hard to, like, really even think. Because how loud these headphones, like, project the audio. So, I mean, honestly, probably for my next video, I'll probably take them off. Just so I can actually, uh, like, have a more solid commentary and stuff. But, dude, we're already up to 7,700 points. Holy crap. Okay. Well, let's wait for Mr. Doggo. To come and show up and then after he's here we will go and actually you know what another thing i should check too is there's a little a little easter egg on this map i don't know if you guys have seen this yet but uh i'm gonna wait for this dog to pop up oh my gosh you gotta be kidding me all right i am out of ammo in the worst time possible come here buddy come on come here come on dog there we go awesome so we're going to chuck that mag down perfect so, I was going to show you guys the easter egg on this map, and what it is, is they actually brought a freaking Pack-a-Punch into this map, dude. Because with the original Shinonuma, obviously you didn't have Pack-a-Punch, so something that they decided to add was they added little fuses that you can collect around the map. You have to get four fuses, so one in Doctor's Quarters, one in Storage, another one in Comms, and then I can't remember what the last one was. But you have to collect all four, and then once you collect all four of the fuses, you're able to go and get a special pack a punch upgrade and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna elaborate on that that's all you get to hear from now but uh i want to go and look for these fuses so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to train in this area for a little bit try to get them all pulled up and then after we get them all trained up we'll uh try to get a crawler and also whatever else and then we'll kind of hunt around and see if we can find one of those fuses i don't know if there's like a specific round that they start popping up but we just got to make sure that we don't get trapped here because we don't have any like any good weapons while we're training so this might get a little might get a little freaky oh my gosh okay thank god that we have stamina that is a lifesaver holy oh gosh oh gosh okay be smart be smart be smart there we go oh i forgot you were still spawning dude we are getting a little bit too risky for my liking Okay, I just gotta focus up for a minute here. Dude! Just see the wave of zombies chasing you! Holy! Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up! Dude, I lasered his face hole! Just gonna one arm this bad boy. What up? Okay, last zombie should be coming up. Ooh, actually, insta kill. Thank you! You're down, you're down, and you're down! We're already up to 10,000? Holy crap, dude. That is wild. So we got storage over there that we haven't opened. Doctor's quarters we have not opened either. What was this one called? Fishing hut. That's what it was. We gotta go to the good old fishing hut. But we gotta go and try to find these fuses. I don't know where they'll actually spawn. I wanna assume it'll probably spawn in fishing hut, considering this was the first one that I opened. But I may be wrong. So we'll just have to see. But... Before we go and run into the little death trap over there, let's go and make a crawler so we don't have to worry about these zombies anymore. Let's see. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Oh, am I out? I am. Oh my gosh. I thought I was reloaded. Okay, there we go. Time to go and check the good old fishing hut. Let's see if it's actually going to be... Oh, I thought that was actually the fuse for a second. I was like, dude, we got super lucky. Okay, no dice. Nothing over here. Where, oh, where could the fuse have gone? Where could you be? So the only thing is, like, it can literally spawn anywhere. And I don't even know how the spawns actually start. So it's a matter of just, like, figuring that out. Um, I have all the doors. Well, actually, maybe I should go and open all the doors before I even start looking. Because maybe that's what, like, initiates it. I don't know why that would be a thing. But it could potentially. It's hard to say. So we'll go and open up storage. And then, ooh, we actually gotta shoot those zombies, too. I can't just let them, uh, I can't just let them spawn in like crazy. What am I thinking? Letting them run free? Can't be doing that. I can't be doing that. Where's the last one? I know there was one more. I knew you were coming. I knew you were coming, buddy. All right. So now that we've got all those done, I should probably go and open this up and see what other perk we can get. I might actually be kind of down to get double tab. I'm kind of willing. If it spawns in double tab, we're getting it. Come on, double tap. Woo-wee! Bro, you ask and you shall receive. 
Let's go, dude. Yes. <laughs> Ready to kill. Yeehaw. What about this? Can I knife these? Oh, bro. Dude. Just sitting and listening to the sound, it's like terrifying. Like I haven't had this like feeling of like, not necessarily just like fear, but like excitement in zombies in a very long time. That is so unbelievably cool. Just to be able to hear like the actual tape recordings that you can go to. I didn't even try that over in Dereez, man. I should have been doing that. Like, I, I'm sure he probably crossed, like, every T and dotted every I when it comes down to certain interactables, you know? Man, that is so cool. Love that. Like, it's not just the Easter egg that he worked on. He also decided to go, like, above and beyond and actually get all the tapes and stuff working, too. Like, that is so cool. Man, I love zombies. I love zombies so much. I just, I wish the newer zombies experiences didn't take away, like, you know, the OG feeling of it. Like... I don't know if anyone else agrees with this, but like, I feel like when metals started popping up in zombies, that's where I was like, kind of like, eh, this is alright, but it wasn't the, like, the greatest thing. Like, when you saw all these metals, it just made it feel too arcadey, where like, you know, the original zombies experience already was arcadey enough, but when they added the metals, it just made it feel like, it just took away what zombies was, you know what I mean? Ooh, we got a bar over there too? Holy man, we got so many goody goody goodies. Actually, I shouldn't say goodies about the bar because that thing is absolute booty cheeks. Like, I'm being completely straight up. That thing is, it, it's a hot lot of trash. That, that's literally what it is. Every, every time I've got it in the box, it is an absolute turd, dude. It is a turd burglar. Okay, let's go and uh, see what we can get though. Hopefully we can get like monkeys or potentially a ray gun. Ooh, uh, brother. Brother, please. Okay. Thank you. I will keep a PPSH any freaking day. That is awesome. What else can we get? Flamethrower? Alright, I'm not gonna keep that thing, though. That thing is booty. Okay, we'll get rid of the STG and see what else we can get. Ray gun. Ray gun. Ray gun. Man. No dice. Ray gun. Ray gun. Ray gun. Please. You literally showed it so many times! How? You can't be doing me like that. Okay, we only got 2,000 points left, man. Come on. Give us the goods. Give us the goods. Ooh, a Type 100. That ain't too bad. That is not bad at all. Okay, let's try another one. And then, actually, after this round, I am going to take my headphones off, just so I can actually, like, hear a little bit better during this commentary. Oh, of course we get the bar for our last one. Ooh, a Maxi-Poo. Literally on the last zombie there. Nice. Let's go. Thank you very much. I will take that. And we might as well also use the PPSH because the push is a freaking amazing weapon, dude. I freaking love the PP. It is so good. All right. I got to remember how to train in this area, bro. It has been a minute. So it's going to take a little bit of adjusting to get used to this. Because I remember I used to always train in com room. This used to be, like, my spot. And then also, like, you can train over by Flogger. There, there's so many different spots that you can actually go and train in this map, man. But this is probably one of the ones that I uh, personally would always use. Especially with, like, co-op. Like, this is, like, my, my go-to. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, we got a decent pool. Okay, we're gonna have to switch ways. We're gonna run this way. Ooh, ow. Ow. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We'll run back this way. Make sure we don't get caught by these guys. And now we'll be able to go and move out. I wonder if he actually made it a 24 zombie cap limit. Because if he did, then we could go for the crazy high rounds. But it doesn't feel like it. Definitely feels like more. Oh my gosh, it feels like they're right behind me. That's freaking terrifying. I kind of want to use the blogger and just try it on these zombies. Oh, got to reload. Nice. God, the PPSH is just so good. Just like World at War, baby. It has not changed. You are a beautiful, beautiful weapon, and I absolutely love you. 
Ooh, double points. I will take you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, we are out of ammo. Wait, maybe it is 24 zombies. I just realized. That could have been a wave of 24. I'm not too sure, though. Well, I'm going to leave that carpenter there because there's no purpose of me actually using that thing. Um, bouncing Bettys. Oh, sure, dude. Oh, you can literally just... I can just drop it like this. Bouncing Betty. Bro! It even plants in the ground! Ah, oh, that's so cool, man. That is so freaking cool. Okay, so at the end of this round, I do want to go and look around and see if we can potentially find the, uh, the fuses for the Pack-a-Punch machine. Like, that would be awesome. Ooh. Wait, what? What happened to my other mag? Pretty sure I had the other mag already loaded, but... Jeez Louise! This thing's a monster! It's a freaking monster! Okay, you know what? Actually, I might be more comfortable training at Flogger. If I just, like, managed to get a, uh, like, a Wonder Wolf or even a Ray Gun, this would be the area that we definitely train at. Alright. Got a pretty decent pool. Let's go and reload quick. I want to try to make it to, like, at least round 20 for this video. Like, if we can make it to round 20, I'd be satisfied. And also, I do want to show off the Pack-a-Punch thing. Because that's the one thing that, like, makes this experience so much different than, uh, the original Zombies, Shinonuma. So, like, I definitely want to show that off. Oh, my gosh. They are... Woo! These guys are also grabbers. So, we got to be, like, really careful. Because they can, like, literally pull you into the wave. Oh, my gosh. This might be 24. It kind of feels like it. They might have actually went above and beyond and actually made it to have 24 zombie caps. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, we need to chill. We need to chill. Holy, holy, holy. I can't tell, man. I'm trying to like... Running ridiculously raw on ammo. Literally. I'm trying to figure out if it is 24 zombies or not. It, it kind of feels like more, but also, like, I know, like, the original Shinonuma, I always felt that same way, too, so it's, like, it's hard to judge if it is 24 or not. Okay, well, go and shred the rest of these dudes, and then after, we'll save, like, one or two zombies. Oh, we're already out of ammo on there. There we go. Sweetness. Okay, so type, you're gonna be thrown to the side, and now let's go and look for this freaking fuse, man. I'm hoping, I'm praying. That we have at least one, bro. We gotta just find, like, one of them. And then I think it's, like, every, like, one or two rounds you can find a different one. So, we'll have to just kind of look around and keep an eye out. I got 7,000 points. I might as well just go and, like, spam the box right now. It looks like the fuses are not spawned in yet. So, we're gonna have to probably wait until the next round here. So, I'm just gonna go in, like, literally spam the box as much as possible. And see if we can potentially pull a decent weapon out of this bad boy. Ray gun would be preferred. Wonder Wolf is alright. So, either one. Either one I'm okay with. Oh my gosh! Freaking like subwoofers on my ears, dude! That was loud! <laughs> Bear really made me feel it that time. Mystery box! Where are you going, my friend? I'm looking for it. Oh, it's all the way back on the other side over in Captain's Quarters. Or not Captain's Quarters. Uh, Doctor's Quarters, man. You gotta be kidding. I was just over here! I was looking for the fuses over here and I had no luck. And now you're going to make me retract my steps just to go back and hit the mystery box? <gasps> Wait a minute. That is the fuse. What the freak? If okay. No one else wants this, maybe that was, uh... I can use this. Maybe that was, like... I'm not sure how, but I can use this. Maybe that was a blessing in disguise, because I literally checked doctor's quarters and I didn't see anything. And then once the mystery box moved, then I actually saw the fuse here. Nice. That's sweet. Well, let's go and throw this bad boy over in Doctor's Quarters. Whee! Ah. Tell me that isn't badass, dude. Tell me that isn't badass to see, like, someone literally implement their own, like, side Easter egg for a pack a bunch on Shinonuma for only VR. That, to me, is so freaking sick. I love it. Like, little things like that or what make the modding community so special, man. And the fact, like, this game already feels so native, like, as a Call of Duty VR experience, like, that makes it even, even better, man. Dude, the double barrel shoddy? Okay. I kind of want to blast them. Let's see, what do you got? Yo, 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 yo! 
Thank you. We just pulled the beautiful Wunderwaffle, my dudes. Ah, look at this sexy freaking beast. I love it. Every time that you can actually, like, flick up the actual, uh, the actual lever for this thing, it's awesome. Oops, and I just turned it off. Well, we're gonna have to waste some capsules there. Wing! There we go. Let's see, double barrel shotty again? You gotta be joshing me. Okay, just for the lulls. Just to have some fun over here. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I thought I saw you even have bullets in there. I guess I had one chamber for the peepee. -pee. There we go. Come on, give me some good. Give me some good. Give me some good. Ooh, wait a minute. I actually really do... Oh, man. Both of these guns are so good. I think we're going to have to wait on that one. Okay, and I should probably get out of here, too. Because we're going to get cornered so fast. Flamethrower? You got to be joking, bro. <laughs> this man literally just said, Hey, you want a flamethrower? I'm like, uh, no thanks. I'm good. I think it's so bad. Okay, got to go, got to go, got to go. Because these guys will catch up to us so quickly. And I need to see this Pack-A-Punch before this video ends, man. I got to see it. And I got to show it, dude. It is so freaking legit. And also, while we're at it, why don't we just go and... Oh, I'm trying to grab my little bouncing Bettys. Swing. Perfect. And that will work just like that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it is going to be the food of Buffalo time. Let's do this thing. Wait for it. Oh, my gosh. There is a ton of them over here, though. Okay, let's go and run up the hill, and then, boo! Did I miss him? Oh, no, we're good. We are golden. Ah, this thing is such a beast. So sick. Bring it on, zombies! Oh my gosh, the chain. Oh, man. I can't not play this and not have a smile on my face, bro. And, like, play this with friends, too, makes the experience that much more crazy. It's so fun. There we go, and he is down. Oh, I, I want to try to reload this thing. Let's go. Okay, throw it in, flick it up. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. And actually, shoot, you know what? I should probably check around here to see if we can find that other fuse, but we'll see. Is I, I don't know if the fuses spawn every round or every two rounds. Because I could have swore it was every two. So I'm still going to look around just to make sure. And then if it does spawn in the next one, then we know it's every two rounds. <laughs> the sounds of Shino Numa, they're both like creepy but freaking hilarious. <laughs> like there's just something about it. Like just hear like the monkeys in the background just... <laughs> it was like he was responding to me. <laughs> Oh, man. This game is just so good. I freaking love it. And to be able to hold this beautiful freaking Wunderwaffle in my hands. Mm-mm. 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 It is a good day to be alive, my friends. It is a good day to be alive. Um, let's see if we can find a good old little fusy poo It looks like there isn't one. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shred this dude. See if it spawns in, because it likes to usually spawn in over here. If it does. Um, no fuses here. Nothing. Okay. Well, probably should have waited on the insta kill to be honest, but that's yeah, alright. Gangsta style. There we go. Alright, time to run. Time to run. Time to run. We do not want to be in the, the thin water over here. Because that will get us killed. Time to go. Time to go. And then, actually, at the end of this round two, if we wanted to, we could probably go and try to get... Some more boxes and potentially get a ray gun, man. Because I feel like for training wise, like, yes, the Wonder Wolf is okay, but I feel like the ray gun is usually my preferred just because you can, like, shoot them at the feet and, like, you got a lot more shots and you don't have to worry about reloading near as often. Um, and it's just a lot more responsive than the Wonder Wolf, personally. So, hopefully, we can actually pull that relatively soon, man. That'd be great. Love to show some ray gun gameplay. Uh oh. That was a squeeze. Holy, man. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, it is so beast. That will never get old. Just the sound that the Wonder Wolf makes. Oh, you actually have to hit the lever first. Okay, now I figured it out. That's why I couldn't pull it the first time. Got it. There we go. Oh, we got the chain. We got the chain. Okay. Play this a little bit safer here. I should actually use the PPSH on like a big, uh, big horde of them. They're trying to get a lot of points. Ooh, ow. Jeez, man. Relax. 
Chill your freaking roll, my guys. There's way too many of them. Oh, that might be all of them. Shoot, that's probably a wave. Oh, we're actually good. Sweet. Perfect. Okay, so we'll go and throw that over. PPSH is completely empty. I should... Oh, you know what? I was already over here. Why don't I just go and check? I probably have, like, what? Two shots left in this? Yep. I think the PPSH is glitched, so I'm just gonna throw that away. Alright, let's go in and spam this box and hopefully get it out of this area, man. Honestly, I wouldn't even mind if we got the bear right now. I just want to move it out of doctor's quarters. Ooh, a PTRS. Oh my gosh, this thing is a freaking monster of a freaking weapon. What the heck? That's crazy. <gasps> Monkey bombs. There we go. Monkey bombs are grabbed. Thank God, dude. They're so tough to grab on VR. I don't know what it is about the hitbox. They're just a little bit funky monkeys. Try again. All right, let's do this thing. Ah, oh, man. A weapon requiring focus. All right, let's try this thing. Tokyo. Let's see. Always focused. Come on, baby. Rook, a fry. Dude, let's go. Oh my God. Let me grab it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We now have a freaking ray gun, baby. A ray gun, a PTRS, which we're getting rid of, and also a Wunderwaffel, like, brother. This is... now. This is a really good run, man. I mean, demons. Okay, we're gonna move it over. Throw this in. Flick it up. There we go. Look at this beautiful freaking weapon. And we actually managed to get the bear, too, on that last hit, which is really nice, because I actually wanted it moved out of here, so... It actually worked out perfectly, but let's go and find this crawler quick, and I, honestly, I just want to cruise through these rounds as fast as possible to go and get these fuses. Like, we gotta try and do it. Right, let's go and waste these shots, flick it down, dump it out. Oh, whoops. Throw it in, flick up, and there we go. Actually, this might be perfect. I'm gonna go and check Fishing Hut during the dog round and see if we can go and find this fuse. Where are these dogs at, man? I don't want to get, like, swarmed by them and accidentally, like, kill myself to splash damage. I hear him. There we go. One down. Oh, there's the other poppers. Look at you. You're so cute. You're so cute, Mr. Fluffies. Mr. Fluffles. Okay. Well, let's go run back over to the gum room and see if we can go and get some goody old goodies with those things as well. Because I'm hoping one of these should spawn it in. I'm pretty sure it's every three rounds. I thought it was every two. It was definitely not every two. So hopefully we can find it now on the dog round before this thing ends. But it's going to be a lot harder to see just because we got all the uh, the haziness from the fog. But hopefully, regardless, we can still pull something out of this. Oh, Mystery Box is over here, too. Nice. <gasps> and we got the fuse. Okay, so it is every Are three rounds. Little thing? Come with Uncle Takio. <laughs> Come over to Uncle Takio. Wait, did I actually get the dogs with the bouncy bennies? That's so good. Okay. Now let's go and put this other fuse in before these dogs die. Because I don't want to take the risk of potentially... Uh, Potentially making this last longer than it has to be. Um, we'll go and shoot this dog down. And we'll go and throw our second fuse from the com room over into the pack a bunch. Doodle doodle doo. Com room, com room, com room. And there we go. God, that sound is so sick, man. I love the sound design in this. Where's that dog at? Oh, are you stuck? Are you stuck, Mr. Fluffles? You got stuck on the doorway. And there we go. Flick it down. Throw the mega out. Awesome. Monkey bombs. Yeet! 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 Nice. God, that is so cool! To be able to, like, actually crank your monkey bombs. That's never gonna get old, man. That is never gonna get old. That is such a cool feeling. Oh! Oh, I actually, we're good. For some reason, I thought we didn't, like, uh didn't reload our Wonder Wolf prior, so I was like, dude, we just wasted, like, probably two to three shots that we could have used before, but we're golden. We, we planned ahead for it. We are golden, my guys. Let's do this thing. Round 15, too. So if we, uh, if we just, like, cruise through this next round, we should be able on round, is it 16 or 17? I want to say it's 17 is our next one that we can get another fuse, so. Ooh, ow. I didn't even realize I hit myself. What? I didn't think I was that close. I'm just gonna go crazy with my shots with the Rega, man. Honestly, I just want to use this more. I feel like every video that we've done on COD Zombies for VR, like, I get the Ray Gun, and then I literally just let it sit, man. I let it sit, and I don't get to use it before I die. So, like, I want to take advantage of this opportunity now. We got a Wonder Wolf, we got a Ray Gun. We're gonna do it. Ooh, ow. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Okay, we'll drop the mag. Pull this in. Flick it up. Let's go. <laughs> the green nice. donut of death. The green donut of death. <laughs> oh, it's a KO. I freaking love you, man. I freaking love these quotes. I could literally just sit here all day and just play zombies. It is so satisfying. Like, this literally used to be what my channel was all about, was literally Call of Duty Zombies. I used to play for about 8 to 10 hours every single day and just live stream it. Like, for years, by the way. Years. And now to, like, come back and have that same experience, like, that same love for it, come back to a VR setting, <clears throat> just chef's kiss. It's amazing, bro. Freaking amazing. But... Let's wait for the round to start, and then we will go and get this double points grabbed. And, uh, we'll try to get up to at least, I'm gonna hope, like, 7,000 points. That'd be nice. There we go. Let's see, where are the zombie spawns? They are taking their merry time. Gotta remember, too, do they spawn dogs after round, like, 18, or is that only under Reese? I wanna say it's only under Reese. I cannot shoot through that. Boom. Oh, I barely missed him. Shot right to the left of him. Thank God for splash damage, though. Be beautiful. Click this down. Throw it out. Oh my god, man. And it just becomes muscle memory. When you're, uh, when you're playing VR, you'll eventually just get the muscle memory down of how to reload these weapons. Like, it's so good. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Be careful. We are shooting way too close to ourselves. We gotta watch out with these ray gun shots. Okay, we're probably gonna have to reload here pretty dang soon. Dude, even, like, the gauge moves on here, too. That's so cool. I'm just geeking out, man. I am geeking out. Let's go and reload this. Oh, one second. Grab a mag. Boom. Okay, get me out of here. Woo, Lee. For the okay. Of your past. And then we should be They're able to get our next, uh... Oh, wait, we already got up to 8,000 points off of this? Holy. The green donut of death. Okay, yeah, let's see. How many more zombies are left? There can't be a ton. Oh, we got a max ammo? Again? Bro, you are just treating me way too freaking well. Woo! I want to see how far I can chuck this thing. Yeah! Whee! God, it's so cool. Humans are always hypnotized by my monkey. They cannot that Oh, did I throw it out of the map? I must have thrown the other monkey out of the map. Dang, man. I was hoping he was going to land back down like right in the middle. That would have been crazy. All right, so this round we do got to save a zombie just so we can go and grab the next fuse. Then after that, we should be able to get the pack a bunch upgrade by round twenty, which is gonna be a really nice. ends you in the prison. Perfect. For the sins of your past. Oh my gosh, that could have just killed me. I gotta be smart about this, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just getting way too, way too open using the ray gun, bro. I gotta be a lot safer and a lot smarter with it, but it's just too fun. Like, just pew, 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 pew. Just like Takeo was saying. It's just so good. Okay. Actually, you know what I might do? Go and reload this. Got monkey bomb. Monkey bomb. I gotta use this more. Oh my gosh, bro. Is that last zombie? Don't tell me. Okay, we're good. Awesome. So we got com room and we got storage? No, not storage. We got com room and we got doctor's quarters. So what we want to get next is probably fishing huts if it's spawned in. Let's see how many more zombies are left. Oh, we actually got a good amount. Okay, so it's definitely not a 24 zombie cap. No doubt. Oh, there we go. Nice. There we go. And that should be close to wave. We're getting very dang close. I cannot be stopped. Okay, you look like the last zombie. So I think we can start hunting around and seeing if we can possibly find our third fuse, man. Because it is round 17, so we should be able to find another one here. And if it does work, then we know it's every three rounds. Well, it looks like it did not spawn in. So I'm just going to try to go and kill the crawler off, and then we'll do another round here. So, he's a slow boy. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, go and flick that out. Throw the mag in. Ah, man. That will never get old. Drop that there. Boom, and we will wait for the round to start to go and pop this little nuki poo. Let's do it. Okay, ready, set, and go. Oh, there's a big boom. Holy crap. Nice timing. Then I'll keep a monkey on me too, just in case. I want to kind of look and see if we can find it like during the round. Just to make sure. Let's be we'll just hold this here, make sure we had a good grip on it so we don't drop it yet. 
No fuses. Nothing, dude. Nothing. Throw it over there. I'll go and check the other spot here. And hope to gosh, we can actually find this thing. Come on, man. I just want to find the fuse. That's all I want. Didn't see any fuses there. Anything over here? Nope. Nothing. I swear, if it didn't spawn it again, it might just be random. It might be. Unless I, there's like another spot that I'm not seeing. Okay, monkey bombs dropped. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Dude, and we're probably making crawls at this round too, right? Since it's round 18. Goodbye, my furry friend. Oh, dude. Until we meet again. Oh, God. Oh, God. This might be a bad idea. Woo! God, 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 God. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. They are now a two hit. Okay. Isn't that just Wunderwaffel? Isn't that just Wunderwaffel? Okay, gotta go. Oh, I can't pull it. I can't pull it. I'm trying to pull the thing. I wanted to pull the flogger. Well, either way, we can still spam the spam the ray gun though. We're chilling. Oh my gosh, man, this thing is weak now. It's a freaking pea shooter. Actually, I shouldn't say that. It's still a two hit. So. I thought we had double tap 2.0 too, so I'm surprised it doesn't last a little bit longer. For as a as a one hit. At least now we have actually at least now we have a crawler maker. It's actually gonna be really efficient for looking around. Am I out of ammo again? Holy. There we go. Check it out. Let's see if we can get one. We gotta get one of them. Do we got another crawler there? Oh no! Was that the last zombie? We literally just blew him up with a freaking bouncing Betty. Let's wait for these zombie spawns, man. We're gonna go crazy with insta-kill. Awesome. We gotta try to find as many of these guys as possible. I just wanna, like, slash through them. Come on! Spawn down here already! They're taking their time! There we go. Be careful that we don't get sucked in off of insta-kill. Oh gosh, okay. Get a little bit, a little bit crazy with it. Ooh, ow. Holy. Insta-kill could have ran out in a worse timing. Dude, there's so many spawns! Holy! Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, those crawlers can screw us over. Oh, ow. Dude, I'm shooting way too close. I gotta figure out my distance of shooting. Okay, we're probably gonna have to reload here relatively soon! Oh, this is so freaking scary. We love this thing. Do we have another monkey bomb? I honestly don't remember if we tricked all three. I think we might have. We should be getting a dog round. Oh, dude! You gotta be joking. Okay, we'll try to make a crawler. Crawler time. Thank you. Alright. And that should be pretty much it. Awesome. Throw that in. Reload. And you are mine. Perfect. Now let's try one more time, please. Let this be um. Let this be the little fuse round. I can't believe we haven't found another fuse. Still no fuse. What was that sound? What is that sound out there? Yeah, that actually freaked me out. I just heard like this really weird like hoo, 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 out there and I was like what the frick is that? Okay, I am just gonna end this round because I still don't see it man. I'm going like crazy. I could have swore it would have been spawned in by now. Like anywhere in this area, but I've had no luck. You want let's chuck another monkey, why not? Whee! Go for it! Go have some fun! What the <laughs> That man just no clipped into the back rooms! You guys see that? What the heck just happened? He literally like jumped into the ground. That was hilarious. Like you've seen ground spawners, but have you seen ground dwellers like that? What the freak? That was crazy. That is definitely a first. I have never seen that in this, uh, in this mod. With all the time I put into it, that is literally the first time I've ever seen that. What the freak, dude? That was crazy. 
Okay, well, we got another crawler. It's around 20. Please, dude. Please pack a punch machine. Let me find a piece. I just want one. Okay, you know what? Since we haven't been able to find the last piece or the last pieces for the fuses, I think what I'm going to try and do is uh, I'm just going to go and crank the music on, go and get the song Easter egg going, and then we'll just keep peeking over there whenever we got the time. Like, honestly, I, I think that's going to be our best our best bet because this thing is, like, unfindable. I have not been able to get it. I hope they leave out the animal cruelty. Is the animal cruelty? Okay. Well, let's go and activate the song. We'll go make a little phone call to our pizzeria. I also want to make sure that it doesn't spawn in in some of these old areas. Like maybe it just bugged out and still spawned at one of these old old spots. Okay. Let's try it. Let's see if this thing actually works. That's not creepy at all. I have found an Easter egg of honor. I have found an Easter egg of honor. Oh man, it feels so cool to be able to hear this on Shinonuma. Shinonuma in VR, rather. I'm gonna check these old areas. It might be over here. Dude, such a vibe. It, like such chills down my spine just hearing it. Like nostalgia overdrive. Nice. Dude, zombies tracks have always been goaded. No doubt in my mind, they've always been goaded. Where's that dog? I hear him. He's like above us. Come on, I know you're coming. Do it. I know you're coming, Doug. Oh, there's another one over here, too. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> the green donut of death. There we go. Go grab that. Let's check one more time. I'm going to check Doctor's Quarters just to make sure if it did spawn in there or not. Because, like, it might have just bugged out and went to an old, old spawn area. Go for the monkey! Set me free! God, this song is so good. I just want to sit and listen to it. Oh, it's so nice. You can actually like, shoot back that way. It's legit. We're gonna find this fuse. I don't care if it's the last thing that we do, but we're gonna find it. Oh my god, there's so many spawns. Oh, I can't shoot through the fence. Oh, they're coming over. Oh god. This might be a bad idea. Monkey pop time. Go. Let's see. Where is this freaking fuse, dude? No fuse. I didn't see a fuse. No fuses? Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, dude, this is bad. This is very bad. Go, go, go. Holy. Okay, just in case we have to reload. Oh, go, 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 go. Dude, this is getting way too crazy. <laughs> it's so fun just running and gunning. Oh, man. That is so awesome. And hearing the music. Oh, you know what? Let's do it. Okay, pull it all the way down. There we go. <laughs> oh, my God. It flew right at me. Wow, man. The flogger even works. Dude, he went flying. <laughs> Look at this! <Boo! laughs> oh, dude! I didn't think that was gonna be that good in VR. That's hilarious. You see their bodies flying. Man, so good, man. Come on, please let me find this fuse. I just want the fuse. 
Why is it so hard to find this fuse? I have no clue. Oh, the song's about to be over. Where's this last zombie? I'm sure he's probably just a crawler, huh? I'm gonna do one more good look through and make sure we're not missing it. It's gotta be over here, man. There's no doubt in my mind it's gotta be over here. Like, it's not at fishing. It is not at fishing hut. Hmm. Could it be in the water? No? I didn't see anything in the water. What about over here? Okay, nothing. You didn't hide it in the water. Which, bro, I haven't checked the swamp in the actual other area. Would he be, would he be that mean? Would he ever spawn in the water like that? I don't see it. No dice. Okay. What about over here, maybe? That would be a good spot. If you were to put it like in between the fence, that would have been really cool. Come on, dude. I really want to see this pack a bunch. Okay. 31,000 points already, and it's around 24, dude. Okay. Let's check it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the round is over. I'm going to check Fishing Hut, see if that fuse maybe respawned. Give us some luck, my dudes. Please, anything. Literally anything. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, this is bad. We gotta get out of here. Oh, that's bad. Oh, this could be really, really bad. There's like no shot that we're gonna be able to get out of here. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I, I don't have time to pull the uh, pull the lever. Dude. Okay, going back the other way. Okay, I'm gonna reload just to be safe. Oh, there's a guy behind me! Holy! Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. This is so bad. Weapon of the future ends you in the prison for the sins of your past. Did I miss? You kidding? No, go. Woo! Bro, I had a wiggle. Did I miss two shots? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know if I can get out yet. Just play this safe. Play it smart. We're out of ammo. I have used up Dude. Most of my bullets. This is my last mag. My last mag. Okay, we're out. We're out. <laughs> Bro, that got way too freaking freaky. Okay. Good stuff. Oh, what? Let's turn that back off. Bump out. There we go. Bro. I can't believe we just clutched that. That was nuts. Dude, you gotta be kidding. Okay, well, if we don't end up getting the pack a bunch, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm really, I was really hoping to get it by this round. Because, like, the last time I played it, we were able to get it. But I'm just wondering if maybe the fuse maybe glitched out and spawned somewhere else. Or maybe just isn't spawning. Which would be kind of unfortunate. But I'm not too sure. Because it should have been, like, we should have had pack a bunch stuff ready by now. Well, looks like this zombie's going down. Because I have no clue where this freaking fuse is. I haven't been able to find it. I don't... Like, I wonder if I'm just, like, looking past it or something. Like, it should have been spawned in by now. I'm trying to go crazy. Okay, flogger time. Let's go. Go! Woo! Why was it not pulling? Dude, that was... Oh, that went way too late. Pew! Look at them go! Oh my god, they went to the freaking moon! Holy... That's so crazy, like how much force that flogger's got. It's wild. Oh my god. Dude, I don't even know if we're gonna be able to, uh, able to get that packet punch. I was really hoping to get it for this video, but it's starting to seem a lot more unlikely. Okay. Where's the last one? I'm guessing you're the last guy. Sweet. Round 26, we'll just grab this because we don't really need the points anymore. We're already at 37,000, so like, to make honestly, money. we got way too much moolah to deal with. But please, oh please, oh please. Just let me see something. Toss me a bone. 
Okay, nothing in here. Okay, go for it. I am running away. And I'm gonna get out of there. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're just gonna have to cut our losses. I'm pretty sure, uh... I'm pretty sure the pack of fuses aren't spawning in. And if they are, they might be glitched. So I don't think we're gonna be able to find another one. Unless there was, like, something I have to do in order to make it activate. But, to my knowledge, from all the other times I've played and used it, it, uh... It would just spawn in after, like, two to three rounds and it would work. So, I think we're, unfortunately, just gonna have to, uh... Have to accept the fact we might not be able to use it. So, I think what we'll go and do then, if it's not here, just want to make one last swoop. Okay. We're going to have a hold off here. Let's do it. Oh, wait. I don't have my, I don't have my monkeys. Oh, dude. Okay. This is not going to be good. Come on. No. Dude, you have to be kidding. Oh, wait, is this Quick Revive? The son of the rising sun. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm gonna accept my fate. I'm gonna accept my fate here, boys. Let's go out with the bang. Let's do it. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Call of Duty VR Zombies here on Shino Numa. If you did end up enjoying it and would like to see more content made on some more Call of Duty VR Zombies, then be sure to smash the motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, so you guys can stay up to date with all the VR content we post. But other than that, guys, as always, keep it toasty, my friends. Later. I got some shells for you, boy! Oh, it's in his eye! Oh, I'll fix it! I wouldn't no. die! Well, right no, here. No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get it! Yeah! Why in the heck do you not have clothes. You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences!